Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about this new guaranteed foot birthday player pack that has been entered into the code as of yesterday. I want to talk about this, the market movements that we saw today, talk about the servers being down and what that did to the situation into the market, and also talk about the new SBC uh, that we got on Tuesday as well. And then also talk about some possible Thursday flipping stuff with the uh, potential team of the week that is coming out as well and kind of talk you guys through that. But the main thing that I want to focus on today is this right here. And that is this uh, code that was tweeted by Footwatch of uh, the guaranteed foot birthday player. And this was actually tweeted out today at like um, 5.55 UK time. It was right before the 6 p.m. content drop. So this got me like, I was like, bro, are we about to get this pack in the game like today, right now? Um, and it didn't actually come at that time, but this no we now know that this is in the code and it's a very interesting time for EA to drop a guaranteed foot birthday player pack into the code um, for when Footwatch found it. And he said that in a later tweet replying to Nepenthes, he said, it's weird timing for them to put this updated pack code in. It's, it's more often the time where they add TFOs. Maybe that points to this being more likely an objective or something. I guess we will wait and see. And he later on said in a later tweet that there's also a possibility that he went back and did some more digging that around this time when they put codes into the, that when they put packs into the code around that time of day is when they actually add in different foot champions rewards. So that has a possible number of scenarios that we have coming here with this, with this SPC coming up. It could either be an SPC, it could be an objective, um, or it could possibly be a weekend league reward. Can you imagine instead of having like the extra player picks like we had, getting like a guaranteed foot birthday player item uh, for your, your your 21 wins. Like if it, instead of an elite team of the week pack, you got like a foot birthday player pack or something. I don't know how that would work in rewards if it's just one guaranteed foot birthday player, but that's a possibility. Uh, so either way, uh, I don't think fodder is something that you want to invest in because the SBC fodder stuff is already inflated as it is. And if this SBC doesn't end up coming out, Fodder is just going to continue to crash even more. But something that you can be on the lookout for, and we saw this earlier today, was panic selling on the foot birthdays. Again, because now these cards are out of packs. They have no more supply coming onto the market. And if EA would release this guaranteed foot birthday player SBC, I don't think it would be tradable. They rarely release these types of SBCs if they're tradable. If they would release this SBC and make it tradable, that would be a market killer. Seriously, if it's a repeatable SBC or if it's tradable, um, the tradable wouldn't kill the market as much if it's non-repeatable. But if it's uh, repeatable, that means people can continue to dump their coins into it and that would drain so many coins off this game that it would be crazy. So that's going to be, that's always the number one thing that we look for with these SBCs when they put them out is, are the SBCs tradable? Because... Uh, that has the potential to, uh, not tradable. Again, I keep saying tradable. We look to see if they're tradable, but also if they are repeatable because that has the can, that has a snowball effect on coins in this market. So is there going to be panic on these foot birthdays? Earlier today, before the servers were all messed up this afternoon, which supposedly EA later tweeted out and said that they were getting DDoSed or somebody was trying to like DDoS them, um, which, was, which is crazy. But there was a little bit of panic this afternoon and then the servers kind of went down and, and the prices kind of went back up. But the, the thing that interests me is the servers were down all of most of the day UK time, especially into the evening. And they came back up like it was like midnight or 1 a.m. UK time is when the servers actually came up and we were actually get back on FIFA. So um, that for me feels like there hasn't been a lot of people haven't actually been able to get on the game yet and possibly they've seen the pack code, but a lot of people weren't able to get on and maybe start selling their for birthday players. I don't know how much panic there's going to be this morning, but I want you guys to take a look at some of these cards that have dropped, right? Um, Douglas Costa was 568,000 coins before this pack code was released today. He went down to 525 at one point uh, and is now back to 550. But watch the panic on these cards. Seriously, Lamar was 110 this morning in the panic. Uh, da Costa was the 207, 205 at a couple points this morning during the panic. Uh, or not this morning, but 
on Tuesday morning. So on Wednesday morning, as you're watching these cards, watch for more panic. Watch for more panic on these because people might be considering, hey, this SBC could be coming out today if they think that's an SBC. Um, some people have started investing in, in, in forms and high rateds already. And if you've done that, I would highly consider selling into the hype because you're probably already making coins. And I know like this Pau Lopez in form, I think is literally up like 10K. If, if that's correct, I think this card was like um, under the 20K range and he has absolutely boomed up to 25, 26K because he was the cheapest 85 rated inform by a long shot, which it looks like he is 20, 25, 25, 750 at the moment, um, which is pretty high in price for this card, especially with a an, an SBC like this not actually being released yet. So if you bought some of this guy and you're making like 10K a card right now, or maybe even like 5K a card, I would consider selling because... I really just don't know if this SBC is going to be ending up coming out in an SBC format. Just because they put something in the code doesn't mean it's going to come out the next day. Usually when they release something in the code, like at this time of night, when I'm recording this, which is like 2, 3, 4 a.m. UK time, that's when that, that SBC or whatever that pack that's added to the code comes out the next day most of the time. But since it was added midday today uh, or afternoon, it really is a curious situation. So there was panic selling today on the market, and that's what I really want you guys to look for again today. Um, again, focus on the guys that a lot of people have invested in because if a lot of people have invested in that card, then there might be more panic selling on it because people think the price is going to go down. This Lucas Hernandez keeps popping back and forth between 300K and 289 or 290 um, as people kind of, you know, maybe try to ship this card out and panic sell it, panic sell it. Uh, again, you could have actually made money today because DaCosta went down to like the lower 200K range. He was, I literally saw him at 207K and he, he sat on the market for a while um, before it was bought. And now he's back up to 216. So I don't know how the, the uh, you know, how extensive the panic selling is going to be this morning, if there is any, but keep an eye on the market for some panic selling on team one and team two, as people think that these cards are going to be, um, uh, in a pack. So that could be somewhere where you look for some panic selling this morning uh, with the foot birthday cards. And I would say if there's a last chance to get in on some of these, I would be a fan of it because some of the cards drop down to almost as low as they were when they were in packs. Again, the DaCosta at 200K, 205 earlier today, that was really low. Foot birthday set one, there were some guys that dropped down in this set as well. Whatever card you're looking for from a foot birthday set, just watch the panic. Lozano, I think, was like 92K this morning. Cancelo was down at like 207 or 208, I think, again. Uh, Havertz was like 350 or a little below. And uh, some of these guys didn't really move too much. Uh, Mooney Ayn, I think, was maybe 140 by chance earlier this morning. I don't quite remember. Uh, but these cards were, were panic sold a little bit just because of that, that SBC or that pack code. That was added into the game and if we don't see anything at 6 p.m uk today then i do think those will rise back up in price uh on the market so that's kind of how i feel about this with that pack code just watch for the panic sell and if you bought fodder if you're making money i would take the coins and be safe i just don't feel like they're going to drop it as an sbc we've already had three guaranteed player sbcs with the party bags i don't know if they're really going to drop a fourth at least today it'd be really really random for them to do that so we'll see what happens with that one but we also got a flashback Christian Fuchs SBC today, which from, again, a face start, based card statistic, uh, looking at this card, it looks fantastic. 88 pace, 97 physical. He looks like a beast. Medium, medium work rates is okay. It's not the best, uh, but he's got decent pace. The problem here is the stamina. Again, this card, would be, this card is a pretty nuts card as a center back. Uh, of course, you don't need as much stamina as a center back. Maybe you can drop him on like a... Um, I've, maybe on a lower depth if you if you do want to run that, but he's got enough pace where he could probably catch up. Uh, center backs don't need as much stamina as an outside back. So if this is a guy that you'd maybe plan to play as a three back formation, uh, you you could play him as center back. I think that's where he looks most most suited uh, because again he's got the two star weak foot and three star skills. So like a left center back or or left uh, center back in like a, a three or three five two or something like that maybe could work out for this guy. And again, how do you know if people are doing this SBC? You might look at this card and be like, you know, like, yeah, it's Christian Fuchs, but he's Austrian. He's on Leicester. The links aren't the greatest. This is how you can tell when people are doing SBCs. You check out the indexes on Footbin and they'll show you the fodder price. 
This uh, SBC cost you 83 and 85 rated squads with two informs. And look what happened today. 169 points at 6 p.m. UK today for the 84 market. It rises. Of course, this um, dead straight line in here is when Flipbin was not able to read the market because the servers were down. And then boom, the market starts to read again. People get back on the market. 84s, the index is at 210 points uh, soon after after that so that's a major rise in 84s today 80, 84s are through the roof man look at all these 4,000 coins for the absolute cheapest ones uh as 84s a lot of times these guys have been like 1.7 to 2k they've doubled in price so if, if you had 84s you're making bank on those uh but again that shows me that a lot of people did the christian fuchs sbc today and then i want to look at index 86 as well because i think this went up after the pack sbc code was put in and again check this out the pack sbc code is leaked so it might use a few 86s in in the the christian fuchs sbc because you need an 85 rated squad so some of this rise could be due to that um but a lot of this rise i also think is due to the pack code that was released and we can go ahead and check out some of the other cheapest players by rating 87s uh tiago silva is forty-two thousand coins what was he earlier today this will give us a good glimpse of what happened today. He was 37,000. Boom. He jumped up literally almost, almost 10K um, from on the from 37K up to 46 on the on the PlayStation. And he's at 40K on both consoles. So that tells me that a lot of people have invested in high rates. And again, I would consider getting out of them if you had some of those investments. We got a UCL SPC today as well that required UCL rares, but that kind of messed up if you invested in UCL rares, which are pretty inflated right now, they haven't moved much because I think we're getting another one of these today. We should be getting a possibly another throwback UEFA marquee matchups and then another pack supply SBC. And that could also hurt your fodder investment if that SBC they put out, if they put out all tradable packs today for, for the SBCs that come out. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Um, and uh, if you want to do the Christian Fuchs SBC, I mean, it's not the worst SBC ever in the world, but I would wait. I really would wait because uh, regardless of what content comes out today, if it's a guaranteed foot birthday player that they put in as an SBC, that SBC probably won't last much longer than two or three days. And then uh, this, this has five days remaining. So a lot of the stuff in here, like the mid icon, especially two days remaining, that's going to be going away. That'll drop the prices of 84s, 85s, all the way up to 89s. The flashback Hulk is going to expire in three days. Monolos is expiring in a day in 13 hours. So this SBC is going to kind of be on its own, I guess you could say, unless we get some other ones. And I think this value will drop over the next couple of days. So if you really want to do his SBC, I think you would want to wait a little bit, maybe towards like weekend league rewards time frame. That could be like an, a time you do it if we have a lot of pack supply of those cards on the market. And since that SBC came out, a lot of left backs in the Premier League are getting panic sold. Now, um, we've had a lot of SBCs or less left backs this year in the Prem. Uh, I think of Kieran Tierney. Um, not a ton in the Prem, but we've had multiple uh, in the Prem. Tierney is the one that comes to mind first off. But some of the other left backs that are tradable on the market have taken a hit today. Van Anholt is usually 170K. He's 155. The team of the week moments, Robertson, that was in uh, packs last week. He's taken a hit. He was 168 this morning, rising very, very nicely out of packs. Now he's back down in the 140s. Do I think these guys are buys? I absolutely do because Prem left backs rebound every single time, um, especially my main man, Digne. I bought this guy so many times this year. Uh, right now, he is 147K. I got one at 140 earlier tonight. Watch again for these cards tomorrow in the morning uh, because some people weren't able to get on the game last night. So you might see some more panic selling on these in the morning. Just watch the open bids. My target price for Digne and for... Um, Robertson on actually on about on both consoles. I think they're about the same price. Let me go take a look at these because I want to recommend these guys as, as a specific investment for you. If you can find them at a certain price, if you can get Digne uh, at like one in the one thirties on Xbox and at one forty to one forty two or one forty three on the PlayStation, I'm a fan of that. And if you can get the Robertson team of the week moments card at about one forty to one forty five. 144, low 140s on the PlayStation and low 140s on the Xbox. Same price there. Um, I'm fine with that because I think this card, again, he rose from last week being out of packs 130 on Wednesday to being 160 today. I think this guy will be back to 160 uh, in, in a week and a half 
after the SBC goes away. And you want to buy these cards earlier in the panic sell than later. So watch this morning for a drop on those. Uh, in my opinion, I would watch for that. But speaking of other things that are going to come today on the market, we're going to get another team of the week, team of the week moments number five, which supposedly has been leaked. This People have found out that they know what team of the week cards are coming based on trends and what they've done with the past team of the weeks. So supposedly the team of the week that is coming today contains Royce, Mbappe, Langley, um, Alexandro. It's a pretty stacked team of the week. It really is a pretty stacked team of the week. And I'm interested to see if EA goes along with the, the pattern that they've been on and sticks with it, or if they change it up because this team of the week looks really good to be honest. And again, just like last week, we saw with the Vardy headliner being inflated, we have the Royce headliner that is inflated this week because people think this is going to get upgraded to a 92. It's literally up like 250,000 coins, which is crazy. Um, if you got this card, I don't know if he's worth that much, to be honest. He was 1.4, 1.5 mil, and now he's up to, you know, 1.7. He was in the 1.4s last week. So uh, he has risen a lot. Is he going to stay that high after the upgrade? It's possible, um, but uh, I'm just not super sure about it if he does stay that high. And I'm kind of intrigued. And this is one thing you can look out for. If you don't see Royce Langley, Alexandro, Mbappe in the team of the week tomorrow, then that means they chose a different one. And that means you're going to see some panic selling on some of this stuff because uh, people are investing in these because they think they're getting upgraded. If they somehow would change it up on us, that could be a panic sell scenario that you look into with some of those cards. Just saying, keep that in mind. And then for Thursday flips this week, what are we looking at for Thursday flips? Again, the stuff that I like to do is I like buying these earlier in the week now. We, we still look at these the card prices on Wednesdays. I still roll into a Wednesday with a couple million coins liquid and I look for deals and I look for open bids on Wednesday nights. And I want to kind of go over some of that stuff with you guys this week using some of the team of the weeks on Footbin, which is what we usually look through and look for. Remembering that a lot of people want to use foot birthday cards in their teams this weekend uh, is going to be big for this. And remembering what... Uh, most of the foot birthday cards, how do you link them? And remembering there's so many French players in here. French players have done lovely at rewards the past couple weeks. Uh, so depending on your budget, look around the market for Prem, French, La Liga, and maybe some Bundesliga cards. Your normal Thursday flips should work, but th that French connection should give you a little bit more, in my opinion, this week, um, just because of the fact that a lot of people are probably using uh, French cards in this game. We saw that last week as well. Uh, the, the French links, seriously, are are very OP for Thursday flips. So look at informs, look at past team of the weeks, so look at open bids uh, for French cards. Like maybe this Ducore is somebody who you could sink some coins into um, on open bid. Look for open bids late night before rewards actually come out. And then if you're somebody on a higher budget, I mean, I like to stick to like the 250K and below for special cards every weekend uh, for Thursday flips. Uh, but if you're in somebody who's on a higher budget, icons are absolutely tradable, uh, tradable, but able to be traded with during the rewards time period, especially like this Makalele who is French. I know we have Bakayoko that dropped this price a lot, um, but you know, popular league, popular nation, baby and mid icons are perfect for rewards flipping because the fact that they're just out of packs, they're rare. And there's a lot of people that are on this game right now. Makalele is one that I look at a lot, actually. This baby Makalele, how much is he? He's actually up a decent amount this week, 145. Last week, he was in like the 130s and you could snag him at the 120s. But again, the French links uh, provide a big opportunity here. I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in baby Petit as well because he's a French icon left back where you can link a lot of, you know, French cards in a team if you need to. I just saw this guy at 220K and right now he's 232. So maybe if you can see this guy like in under 220, that could be a, a Thursday flip for you on the Xbox. But again, just look around the market on Wednesday night. Look at open bids. Look at team of the week um, cards from, from previous team of the weeks. And look at man of the matches. This is something that I often forget to kind of share with you guys. If you sort by FIFA 20 players on Footbin, go to versions, man of the matches. Some of these cards fluctuate so much on any given Thursday. It's actually pretty crazy. It's actually pretty crazy. Some of the fluctuations that these cards have. Inaki Williams' uh, card here is 90K. He's up a lot already. Uh, but 
Look through some of these men of the matches. Alan St. Maxman has risen up in price a lot since he got the foot birthday. A lot of people, there's a lot of hype in this card, but look what happened last week. He went from 141 on Wednesday to 160 on Friday, back down to 147. Now he's back up in the 150. So if you can catch this guy like under 150K, these guys are very rare. So the open bids are probably the way to go for them. Ante Rebic here as well. I think he has a possibility of being in team of the week today. He might've been in that squad. Uh, but j just watch some of these guys' prices as well. Watch the team of the week moments. Look for the, the Champions League man of the matches. Uh, not team of the week moments. Team of the year nominees. These guys right here. These guys are great to Thursday flip with as well. Uh, again, just look around the market. Keep your eyes peeled. Look for those deals. They're out there everywhere every Wednesday night. They really are. And the more cards you find that are overlooked by a lot of people, but are still from good leagues, good nations, and have a lot of popular links... Those ones can be perfect for you. And of course, whatever team of the week comes out today, take that into account as well uh, because links to those team of the week cards will be profitable this week as well. So watch out for it. Whatever is going to happen today with the foot birthday, guaranteed pack. Look and see if there's panic in the morning. And then we'll be talking about um, um, looking at the team of the week and then possibly some moves we can make in the panic if we see any of that and whatever happens um, with that pack later today as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. If it helped you out at all, I would greatly appreciate that thumbs up and the sub. We're so close to 10K, boys. We're close. It's coming, all right? And I love you guys for that. Thank you so much for being here on the video today. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.